Hi, everybody. I'm Justine Froker, author, speaker, certified Dare to Lead facilitator, and self care advocate, teacher, angel, therapist, crazy person, or not crazy person, because I love self care. And I am super excited to share with you some of my favorite things for sanity and for happiness, especially for this holiday season. And most especially because some of you might be thinking about some holiday gifts for people that you care about. And I am not an awesome gift giver and I um, really like receiving gifts that I need. And so I am going to share with you some of my most favorite things that I use on a daily basis. A lot of these things can be found on my resource page on my website. Um, not all of them though. And so I, we're gonna link everything down below in the comment section for you to go check out these amazing products that are super affordable and that I do use personally on a daily basis and that I recommend to everyone. So first off, this oil diffuser from Amazon. So it's not anything super fancy. I love my oils. I am actually, I'm a Young Living, per, or that's the brand that I use, but um, doTERRA has great oils too. Just know where your oils are coming from and what the ingredients are and make sure you're working with someone that knows how to use them. Um, they have very awesome diffusers. I just have found that this works for me. So <laughs> this is Chad's MacGyver talents it has a bright light and he hates bright lights so it's we have tape over it but this oil diffuser what i love about it it's super affordable and it la it's lasted me for years and so i actually diffuse oil at night while i'm sleeping i usually do rc for breathing clarity and also thieves just for good health and immunity um, and then i will diffuse things when i am doing my meditation and prayer and devotional time in the morning so usually in the morning i'll diffuse something like um La a mix of lavender, finance, abundance, um, frankincense. I have a couple mixes from doTERRA that I got at a conference, like a line, an anchor, and a rise. Like, I just kind of throw a bunch of stuff in there, like that kind of are, go with like, ooh, be really calm and happy. What I love about this oil diffuser, though, is that it has two settings. One setting is it just it emits the steam um, nonstop, and it's a non-heating element diffuser, which is great because it means you can travel easily with it. And then um, it has a second setting, which is the one that I use at night, which means it emits the steam or the mist um, for 30 seconds and then 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, which means it lasts me the whole night while I'm sleeping. So six to eight hours, okay? So this oil is awesome. One of the other oils that I love and I use daily is this frankincense and myrrh oil. Um, this is just off of Amazon. So this is where you need to put down some of your oil snobbery, as my friend Lori says. I use this oil um, in my prayer time. So after I have done some meditation and scripture time and I'm ready to hit my knees and pray, I'll put this on my hands and smell it really deeply, do some deep breaths. I might touch different parts of my body that might be bothering me or um, really just lay with my hands or sit with my hands open and smelling this frankincense and myrrh. It's made in Jerusalem. so. It's special and it's super affordable, super affordable. Then we've got my meditation pillow. So my meditation pillow, what I found is that when I was meditating, it was hard enough to get my brain to clear enough. It's not, the point of meditation is not to just make your brain do nothing. Like that's pretty much impossible for a lot of us. So, but just to kind of make it quieter. But a lot of times I was struggling with that because my body hurt, my butt got numb when I was sitting there on the hard floor. Or if I was laying down, I would fall asleep. So I wanted to figure out a pillow. And so I found this meditation pillow on Amazon. I've loved it for years. It's helped me in my meditation practices, which is not a huge practice at all. I'm not a natural meditator, but I still spend at least five to 20 minutes every single day in quiet with my butt on this pillow. And um, I listen to my body, to my head, to my heart, to God, whatever. This is also a great prayer pillow because I will then put my knees underneath me and pray with my knees on it. Then my happy lamp. This is my happy lamp. Again, I found this brand on Amazon. I usually just look at reviews. Um, this has lasted me for probably four to five years at this point. It emits an ion, positive ions into the atmosphere. I don't know. It's supposed to be really good for you, whatever. I mean, we'll take all the help we can get, right? But in the winter, we just have less sunlight. 
it's colder, we're not spending as much time in the sun, and a lot of us are driving to work in the dark and coming home in the dark. And so if you sit in front of a happy lamp for five to 15 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes a day, you will feel a difference. I have it on when I'm doing prayer, meditation, and scripture time. A lot of people will have it on them when they're watching TV at night, really, whenever you feel it's easiest to get it in every single day. But I love that happy lamp. That one's a little bit more of an investment. I think it's around 50 bucks, but it has lasted me for a really long time. And for me, is totally worth the investment. Even in the spring, because St. Louis can be pretty gloomy, I still use it. I use it, to be honest, year round, because a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D. Next up, devotionals. So uh, most of my devotionals that I use on a daily basis, I do on my phone. So I love, um, I love the YouVersion Bible app, obviously. That's all free. You can search by emotion. You can search by author of the Bible, book by, of the Bible. You can search by a life situation. Um, I have four Bible reading plans on the Bible app. I just, I love the Bible app. You can do plans with friends. You can highlight, um, put in notes. You can compare different translations of the Bible. You can make graphics to share on your social media. I, I love the YouVersion Bible app. I also love the First Five Bible app. Um, or app for my phone. I love Proverbs 31 daily email. I absolutely love my loop for women devotional. It's wired for men that comes in my inbox twice a week. And then that is also the same couple that does rush podcasts. That's twice a week. And that's part of my devotional plan. I love rush and loop. They're great follows on Instagram and just great podcast and um, email to subscribe to. Then the one that I really love and I think a lot of people love is Jesus Calling um, by Sarah Young. I love Jesus Calling and I love this version of Jesus Calling because it has the full scriptures listed in each day. Okay. Um, one of the other apps that if the, you know, if the Bible is not your thing, then I would highly suggest that you get something like Marianne Williamson's. I love her Year of Miracles um, devotional. I've been reading that. I love... Um, Panache de Say's Finding Your Soul Signature, that is completely not faith-based at, at, of any kind. And I love, love, love that devotional. So those are all going to be linked down below too. So I read a devotional every single morning. I actually read multiple devotions every single morning. I have a book abundance. Okay? Okay. Speaking of books, my favorite books right now. I always, always come back to this. You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. It's a little, it's woo-woo. Louise was like... Some of this stuff might scare you. I don't care. Read it. It's all about loving yourself. I refer to this every day because I have it like earmarked throughout um, in regards to like just her different things that she, um, like different, almost like end poems that she writes at the end of the sections. But also what I love about this and that I refer to quite often is she has a list of ailments, like physical ailments in the back of the book and affirmations to say. Now, let's be honest, all of it pretty much boils down to I am at peace with life, I love and accept myself, but she gives you the words, you go and say them in the mirror, and you'll be happier. And you might even feel better. So I love this book and I always come back to it. Obviously, Brene's new book, Dare to Lead. I am now a certified Dare to Lead facilitator. I love this book. If you have read any of her um, books before, you will love this book. If you are in leadership and you've never read her stuff, you'll still love this book. So um, I'm offering talks and workshops and retreats and all of that stuff based on this new curriculum. And so I would love to come teach uh, your organization or your group um, based on this new work. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal book. I'm going to plug my new book. I can't ever. <laughs> Complicated Gray. So um, hopefully we'll be back on Amazon very, very soon. Um, you are ready for some fun stories, hard stories, to laugh, to cry. This is a good book. If you're not sure who Jesus is or maybe you forgot, this is your book. My all-time favorite book right now. So much so that it just released in October and I've read it three times. Remember God by Annie F. Downs. I love this book and I wish everyone would read it, whether or not you're a God person or not. I love reading. It's not a problem. It's an abundance. But I love filling my head and my heart with other people's stories, creativities, and faith and 
courage and all of that stuff. So whether or not you listen on Audible, which I love, or you read an actual book, read every day. It'll change your life. I also, because I've never actually done a video about this, um, the, my, the three Bibles that I like the most. Um, so early in my faith walk, I um, started with the voice because I did not grow up in scripture. And so I needed um, not a straight translation of the Bible to help me read the Bible and to help me understand it. And this is just beautifully written. It's kind of written like a play. So you know who's speaking. There's notes throughout it. Um, it really describes kind of the characters and the context and things like that. It's just an easy to understand Bible. I love the voice translation. And this is where I started my faith walk journey when I um, was really wrestling hard. Um, once I started doing a lot more of the reading and the writing in ministry, that's when I purchased my life application Bible, right? Yeah, my life application Bible. So what's awesome, about, it's like terrible. It's I, um, What I love about life application Bible is it has the notes at the bottom to help you with context, who the people are, how this relates to life today. This has been invaluable as I share more on scripture and as I try to dig more into the word and help this book that was written thousands of years ago apply to my life today. This helps. It has the notes at the bottom to explain it. So it helps a ton. And then my latest and most favorite, the Passion Translation. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. As in this in this one, it's only the Psalms, Proverbs, and um, Song of Songs, and then the New Testament. They just released Isaiah. I have not gotten Isaiah yet. It's just, it's beautiful. I, it's really easy to read the Bible as what it is, which is God's love letter to his people in this translation. So I can't speak more highly about this translation. To a couple products that I love. Um, so this might um, surprise some of you, but I for the last, um, I don't know, several months, I have been using CBD oil. So it is not THC. It does not get you high. It's the therapeutic um, element uh, that really helps a lot of things like pain, anxiety, inflammation. And so it was for me when I was... Um, going through some difficult times and struggling, it was kind of that next thing to try to add to my health journey. And I have a friend, Angie Lee, who has her own company called My Soul CBD. Um, and so I wanted to support her. And so I tried her um, her CBD. I did try a local company here in St. Louis and I didn't, their oil just changed. It didn't taste very good at all because you put it underneath your tongue. So I tried Angie's My Soul CBD. Hers comes in peppermint, lemon, lime, and then orange. They're all delicious. My favorite's the lemon lime. But also, she just launched bath bombs. I cannot wait to use this. This is brand new. I haven't used them yet. And then um, I also just got for old man Bosco, our little dog who has quite a bit of pain and kidney issues and doesn't love his kidney food. She has a pet one that's flavored like bacon. So the last two days, that little dog that is a big pain in my butt has eaten all of his food. So I'm anxious to see how this helps his health. So uh, people swear by it for pet anxiety. So we're going to link Angie's company, My Soul CBD, um, down below too. I, it's really helped um, with just my overall inflammation, with my sleep has been better, and my anxiety, my stress level has been better since adding this. Um, I love it. You know, and you already can expect, I'm sure you do, Expect that I'm going to talk about my Plexus probiotics because this is why I joined Plexus was this probiotic, ProBio5, um, because I'm a mental health therapist by trade. And so what we know is the research shows that, number one, a ton of your melatonin is produced in your gut. Melatonin is what makes you drowsy to fall asleep. It's also one of the reasons that you're waking up at night between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. because your melatonin starts to decrease in your brain to perk you up. That's in your gut. A lot of it's in your gut. So a good probiotic will help that, okay? So ProBio5 is phenomenal to help with those things, to help you wake up feeling refreshed. It's just a really good classic probiotic that also has an antifungal in it, which means that it actually breaks down the hard coating of the yeast to help it flush out of your system. Our newest probiotic is one of my favorites and one that I wish everybody would be on. This is our Vital Biome. It is a strong probiotic that's clinically tested and demonstrated to treat anxiety, stress, and mood. And it has changed my entire life. 
I have tons of customers who only order this for me because that's how much has changed their life. And so if you really are struggling with some anxiety, just not being able to calm down, some stress, maybe some of your sleep, try a probiotic. I would be honored and I would love to help you on your journey if you tried my probiotic, but I suppose any probiotic is better than none. Check the ingredients though, okay? Next is my um, kind of like paint by my painting, like creativity and also creativity in writing. So I write down, I write things down every day. I journal before bed and I journal in the morning. I journal things down like what are my goals for the day? What are my five wins from the day before? At night I, gra I do gratitude journals like what, um, what was the best three things from the day? Um, one of my favorite journals is um, my friend Diane Morris Jones. She was my super, she was my supervisor, my consultant when I was getting my certification through Brene. I love this journal. It has an emotion on every page along with a lined page and a, um, a lined page for journaling and then a blank page for drawing. And I know that might freak some of you out, but like it's really, really good. And she's got a bunch of prompts in the beginning. I love this book. Um, when I do workshops and retreats for my curriculum, everyone gets a copy of this. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is my coloring journal, like if you love coloring. Um, this is based off of my photographs um, of my butterflies, obviously. And then it has um, journaling prompts in it, like to take you through the life cycle and how it relates to our journey. Um, as humans that are going to struggle and need to do the work and surrender and rise. I also color every day. So I right now I'm doing paint by numbers or paint by diamonds. So you can see my progress on my paint by diamonds. It's totally going to take me like three years to complete this thing, but I really like it. And I know a lot of you are going to freak out and say like, Oh my gosh, my perfectionism would never be able to do that. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. You'd be surprised. It's so fun to watch it slowly come together. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Who knows? I'll probably just throw it away. But it's going to be beautiful. And it is creative while also calming. And when you sit down and color or do paint by numbers or paint by diamonds and journal, things like that, your brain looks like you just meditated. So it's really, really good for your brain and your happiness and your immunity and just your overall health. Okay? Finally, Nighttime routine. You know, I'm huge on nighttime routine. If you've ever done any of my challenges, you know that I start you with a nighttime routine. <laughs> so I'm two of my favorite products. I can't believe I'm going to do this. So number one, this is not the brand that I used to use. Um, these are headphones. I listen to binaural beats on YouTube every night. Binaural beats meaning that the sounds hit your different ears at different times to stimulate the different hemispheres of the brain and elicit different waves like alpha waves, delta waves, things like that, theta waves to help you feel relaxed and calm and sleep well. So this is a headband that I wear at night. My hair looks so pretty today, but I'm going to take one for the team and show this to you. So I actually, I wear it like up on my forehead like this. So then the headphones are right here. So like you know, they don't hurt your ears if you're a side sleeper, okay? Then I also just added this. I only wear it on the weekends because I get up at 5 a.m. every day, but I sleep in on the weekends if we don't have to be at church early. And so I, if you need to sleep in and make up for some sleep on the weekend, you need to get an eye mask. Now I'm going to do a fair warning. This totally looks like a bra for your eyeballs, but I like it because it stays in place and my eyelashes don't hit it. Now... <laughs> I also have to wear a night guard at night. So aren't you like just so jealous of Chad right now? I mean, God love him. But so that's what I do at night. Gratitude journal, I read devotionals, and then I do the binaural beats at night, and I wear an eye mask on the weekend. And we're going to link all of those below too. So those are some of my favorite things. Like if you need some shopping help or if you love someone and you know that they're struggling to choose themselves and take care of themselves, check out these links below. It's all super affordable for you or for someone you love and they will all change your life. You don't have to get all of them to start. I've been doing my self-care journey for a very long time at this point. You don't have to jump all in with all of it. Just begin with one thing and do that for a week and then add one more thing the next week or two weeks later and then add one more thing. I always teach people that do two to three things, three to five, once your years into your journey, three to five things every morning and every night 
to pour into yourself and choose yourself. That it's very difficult to love yourself in the world that we live in on top of loving ourselves with all of our hard stories, the big stories, our traumas, losses, and tragedies that we have been through. And so when we choose to practice self-care, we are loving ourselves. We have to learn to love ourselves in the practice of our self-care. And I want to help you implement that real change in your life. And some of these products will definitely help you do that. If you want some ideas or you want some more direction and accountability, don't forget, I have my 777 Happy Challenge. That that last round is going to stay up for a couple weeks, and then I'm going to run it again the week before Christmas. So that's seven days in a row. Seven minutes is all I'm asking for, and it's seven bucks. That's it. Okay, then if you're ready for more and you want way more accountability, you want a lot more information and you are ready to actually change your life with a habit of happy, I have the 66 day happy habit. So that is a private Facebook group where you get 66 days of accountability. And what it is, it's a, it's a video teach on, um, that's, that's up on Mondays. And then we have like a check-in, um, accountability, like graphic post, and then there's a live teach. And so all of that sits up there. You have access to it for the rest of your life or forever long Facebook lasts. So that content's up there. But what I want to offer you for this holiday season because I believe the holiday season does not have to run us ragged, does not have to make us super crabby and tired. And like we have nothing left to give to anybody else because we don't ever say no and we spend money we don't have and we eat too much food that's too fun, and whatever. I am offering a buy one, get one half off special. So I'm going to run this until like for two weeks. And what I would love for you to do is perhaps you and your friend – Split the cost total. Or maybe you gift this to your friend and say, hey, come do this challenge with me. Because what we know, some of the research says that upwards, like you're more likely to, you're 75% more likely to complete something if you have accountabil- uh, an accountability partner. And so that's what I want to encourage you to do. I want you to grab someone and come do one of these challenges. Because they will change your life if you do this work. And that will change your family's life and your health. So buy one, get one half off. We're going to post the details down in the comments below. So let me know if you have any questions. I would love to know what your favorite self-care resources are or gift ideas are for this season. Comment below um, and I will perhaps share them or talk about them on a video in the future. So thanks so much for being here and have a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, um, Kwanzaa, just all of it. Happy Holidays.